A soldier of the 42nd Motorized Rifle Division of the Occupying Russian Army has been punished for using his personal car without the commander's permission. As a punishment, he poured gasoline on his Neva car and set it on fire. The footage has been shared by another Russian soldier in the area. The incident took place in the occupied Orkovsky district of Ukraine's Zaporizhia region. According to the Russian military, after the car caught fire, the fire spread to a wider area, including a nearby forest strip. As a result, four armored personnel carriers and two T-72 tanks of the occupying army located in the area were destroyed by fire. Russians want to gather 60,000 soldiers in the Kursk region. Ukrainian military analyst Alexei Getman said this in an interview with Ukrainian radio. But he said that there are no signs that the Russian military is preparing to launch a counterattack in Russia's Kursk region. According to him, the armed forces of Ukraine control a part of the railway in the region, Given that the Russians use the railway mainly for the transportation of manpower and equipment, they will try to push the Ukrainian forces north of Sudza. But I am not sure that they will succeed. He recalled that the armed forces of Ukraine blew up the bridges over the same river and it is extremely difficult for the Russians to send in troops. Ukraine launched its cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast in early August, claiming to have seized around 100 settlements and over 1,300 square kilometers. Recently, Ukrainian forces have halted a Russian counteroffensive in Kursk Oblast, part of which is currently under Ukrainian control, Colonel Alexei Dmitryshkovsky, spokesperson for the military command serving in Kursk Oblast, told agents France Presse. Ukraine secured a portion of Russian territory near Sumy Oblast, pushing Russian artillery out of range and stopping cross-border shelling on nearby communities. According to Dmitryshkovsky, the Russians attempted to attack from the flanks, but the Ukrainian armed forces halted them. The situation is now stable and under control. However, Dmitryshkovsky noted that the Russian army did achieve some success in this counteroffensive. Dmitryshkovsky mentioned that there are several thousand Russian civilians in the areas controlled by Ukrainian forces. He said they are not allowed to leave because the situation must be controlled but are allowed to move around the area. They can visit each other, eat there, unite somewhere, dig potatoes now, work in the garden, 
he explained. According to him, the only way to allow civilians to leave for Russian-controlled territory would be if Ukraine and Russia agreed through international organizations dealing with these issues to open a green corridor under the supervision of observers. <laughs>